And we are live. This is Finding Love in the Cub with Nicole and MJ. I am MJ with the lovely Nicole by my side. And Hi. don't you look festive today, Nicole? You're dressed all holiday I is do. a word. Yes. You look very cute now. I love it. And jingly. And yes. Jingly. Um, so, and um, we are in Kentucky. We are at Burkus. Is that correct? I think you say Birkus, Burkus? Burkus, Birkus. We are um, at their new location down in Covington, Kentucky. COV. Yes, and it, I think it's really cool here because honestly, you can come here and have a beer, you can have pizza, they have amazing food. Yeah, uh, um, during the day, they actually share the location with the north to south uh, baking. So that's a bakery. Yeah. Um, we might need to scoot you back a little bit. Yeah. So I feel like we're a little close to the camera for everyone. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, um, this place is really cool because it just opened. I think they just had a ribbon cutting ceremony like last week. So it's, yeah, it's, it's new to Covington, and I'm really loving the feel I get here. I don't know if you can see behind me. There's a lot of uh, pictures and stuff. There's even pictures of Love of the they've got on the sides here. They've got circus like Kim signs. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I probably should talk into the mic with them. Yeah, but it's cool here. Also, the um, staff is really cool too. Those guys are really nice back there. They were very helpful. Good people. Yeah. Um. So. Good crew. Yes. So we're gonna start our our um, podcast off like we normally do with our wonderful cheers. So, Nicole, let's go ahead and get this party started. And look, Nicole is drinking something different today. Nicole. Beer. This is, I know it's very unlike Nicole. What what's going on here? Yeah. Um, but it's good. Isn't I have it? to. Yes. But it is good. Actually. It is very good. I, I love craft beer, Nicole, not so much. But you know what? She's being a trooper, and she is drinking some amazing beer here at Berkeley. I've drank beer before. PBR. So oh, and we are doing a special cheers tonight for Nicole's papa passed away. He passed away. He was 92, uh, almost 93 years old. So, cheers to him. To you, papa. I've heard he was an amazing, amazing. Had to have been an amazing man to have Nicole as his favorite. Sorry, Natalie. Yeah, I was his favorite. I was his favorite, was his favorite great kid. Aww. Out of five. Okay. Um. So, Paul, Paul yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, he used I to drink seven okay, and that seven. That happened to Nicole this week, and I'm like, yeah. I, I feel like I wasn't. There I was very you, sad. I had to work a lot. I was very sad. I took off work and I cried a lot in the morning, and then I hung out with people later. So, oh and then, but then I felt weird because everyone's like, Are you okay? And I'm like. Like, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. No, I just I feel like, like you don't think I feel like I failed you as a friend. No. I no. No. I called my buddy and I'm like, let's go drive around and smoke. And we did. And it was really, it was fun. We went to the dispensary and it was cool. Um. Yeah. I was like, I want to be like carefree for a little bit, like yeah. in high school, like back in high school. It's fun every once in a while to do, right? Yes. I feel like that happens to me sometimes when I get the shot, like shots involved. Like if I'm out with somebody, because you know me, I'm usually like, no, oh, no yeah, shots. Oh, yeah, people try to buy shots all the time, and she's like, I don't do, I'm like, like she no. don't do them. Just, or I'll like, take it and give it, give it to you. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm like, yeah. Or give it to somebody else. Usually I'm like, I'm too bad. I, I just can't do it, because I do, I get in that mode sometimes. I get in that high school mode, like where I'm like, yeah, let's party, you know, let's, you know, and that's not always the best at yeah. 40. One years old, whatever. You've been not able to do that for a long time. I feel like, Very and true. I got married early, early on. When I was super young, so I feel like I missed a lot of that after high school partying too. So I don't know. Yeah. And I definitely feel like I've probably made up for it. I mean, come on, but you know. You're a party animal. Yeah. I am. Love it though. Okay, so our event. That's what was my first year. Yes. I'm to see. So oh. I don't know if everyone's seen, but we are actually having an event, and we're really excited because Beer Fist Finding is going to have a truck there. Love in the Cup is holding an event. At we're the, legit. At the Beringer Crawford Museum. We got a flyer and everything. We got it. Oh, it's glossy. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the shine on it. Huh? Who designed that wonderful oh, flyer? I QR code? A QR code? Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Technology. Oh, QR code? It's not QRC? No, it's a QR code. Oh. But you know what? Somebody knew what they were doing when they made this flyer, didn't mm -hmm. they? Mm -hmm. Excellent <laughs> marketing skills. 
the no, best. I, I really, I loved it. I just, I don't know. I wanted to make it look lots of fun, and because it's going to be lots of fun, I'm really excited about it. Nicole, yes. aren't you excited about I'm it? I'm very excited. We're going to be it. there. We're going to. I'm going to be a hot chocolate and a coffee truck there too, right? Yeah, plus beer, because beer, which makes yeah. it even cooler. Yeah, where and we are tonight. Yes. Hello. Do you see how it all ties in, guys? We're going to be making s'mores by Campfire. And you've got the lights, and it's a lighted pathway with all the lights. It's kind of like yeah. a mini festival of lights, yeah. right? Here it's free. It's a free event, and it's only yeah. for an hour. Just come out. Well, you can come up to come early. I, I told them they could start selling them. beer at 6.30. Oh. Well, so they could come a little early. It's from then. It's from um, 6.30 to 8. 7 to 8. You can come early if you want. <laughs> Hang out with me and Nicole. Yeah, um, we're Jason's going to be working the fire, our curator at Barrington Crawford uh, Museum. I love fires. And yes, and I've got s'more kits. I'm really good at making a bonfire. Did you know that? Yeah. No. Yeah, it's a teepee. Oh. Well, you know what I learned about making a campfire is that it's good to have a blower. Like a actual blow. No, Nicole. No, I do that though. Like that works okay. too. Or a fan. Well, yeah, like but you don't want to get too it. close to it because you could burn yourself or hurt yourself, right? So if you have like an actual Gee, electric, we live on the edge here. Electric yeah. blower, though, if you bring one, which no I was kids bring are watching one. this. If you guys want to fucking be away from a fire, then grow up. Like, oh my god, Nicole. <laughs> There's like children watching this. All fires right. are fun. Bonfires are awesome. Yes. Okay. So we have our event. Okay. So Nicole, Nicole's back. And what I mean is Nicole is back on Nicole's the dating back. scene. She is back, back again. on the app. Oh my god. So Nicole, let's hear about it. It's been a while, man, right? Like if you guys recall, it's I haven't been on any dating websites in uh, you know months. Your head, the top of your head's cut off because you're not scooting back. I don't care. I think I look really pretty. Okay, just so <laughs> you do um, look very pretty. So and you might really hear me better. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm back on Facebook dating. <laughs> but um, I almost broke, I almost broke the internet the first day I was back on. How did you almost break the? internet? Because of all the likes. Oh. Like I was like, oh, let me see who oh, likes me here, and then it was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, I was like, oh, let me close the app, um, restart my phone. Didn't work. I was like, oh, maybe there's an update I need to do. Yeah. Yeah, I updated it and then I was like, okay. Like 30 minutes later, I could finally could see the millions of likes. I'm just kidding, it wasn't a million. Oh. Uh, it was probably 30 there there though. Though. No, yeah. there was. I mean, yeah. it's, it's probably a little overwhelming. It is, the first, it like, is. But when I think if you just get through that first part, because I think it's like, they just, when you're near, they just put you to everyone, like, you must see this person. Look at them. And like, and guys, we know, like everyone. Well, we don't know that, but... Well, a lot of them do. <laughs> but we think that. It's a numbers game. Yeah. It's like, just like sales. Well, yes, yes, yes. We do think that. Yeah. yeah. See, I've taken a break from... I, whatever you do, called, is it taking a break from it or something? Yeah, take a break. Yeah. Yeah, I took a break. Well, so, that's what I was doing, but... No, no, no. So, you're back on Facebook dating. Are you on any other I'm still on Hinge, but... I like Hinge. I don't ever get on there. I don't know. I don't, ever, I don't know why I don't talk to those people, but... And then I talked to some girl outside at the bar, and she had met some dude from Plenty of Fish. I haven't done that one. Um, well, because it is very old. And <laughs> it's like my I've, mom. I think my mom was on that. Right. It's like, and she's younger than me, this Wait. girl is. And I think a friend of ours, too. Um, I'm not going to say a name. Well, but you know who you are. Um, I used to be on there. It's where I met my oh. late husband. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but it is. It was terrible. Oh, my gosh. Well, then, yeah, you met your life though. Yeah, so okay. maybe I should go on that. I don't know, man. It seems like the Kmart Too of <laughs> Kmart of dating, yeah. Okay, so if if, if uh, Plenty of Fish is the Kmart, then what is hinge of the dating apps? Target. Target? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then what where would Bumble fall on that? It's like the same as Target. It's all Oh Target. good. It's a good one. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about Facebook? Kmart. It's Kmart. Walmart. Oh, okay. I think so. Walmart. Wait. Walmart. Okay, so wait. Which would one's you say worse? Kmart that's or Walmart? what I'm asking. Okay, when you said that, I was thinking, wait, at first I initially thought Walmart's worse than Kmart, but I don't know. Well, Kmart's like closed. Kmart so. would be like vintage now. Yeah. So that yeah. might be cool, right? Kmart was really super cheap and stuff. I did like it. <gasps> so quiet in here. I know. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, there's okay. no music anymore. We can hear ourselves talk. Oh. 
Well, this is good, though. This is good for oh, okay. our, our um, podcast. Oh, you yeah, like this. Us. Sure, okay. sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, so Nicole has an awesome story that she's going to share with us about a funeral home date. Oh, now, my God. I have not heard about this date. I can't believe I haven't told this date, this story yet. No, and I'm excited because yeah. anything that's a date at a funeral home, that just doesn't make sense okay. to you. Okay, not, okay. It's not, it's not so date. please enlighten me, Nicole. Okay, I cannot wait to tell you how awkward and creepy and weird and wild and just so Nicole type shit. How would you get to a funeral? All right. Well, I Ubered, so I didn't want to <laughs> Okay, I, I didn't was mean literally. I didn't mean, like, literally, what okay. kind of transportation did you take? I, was, I meant, like, how does a date end up at a funeral I was home? talking to this dude, right? And we had been talking. How and, did like, you meet him? I met him a long time ago, actually, on, like, I don't Dating know. Or yeah, or Tinder, or even, maybe. So I think we went on Tinder. I was like, that had to have been years ago then. And yeah, this, I met him, like, two or three years ago. Guy. He's a little bit old. He's like 42. Really tall, though. Of course. He's really skinny, though. But, um, I still talk to him, but, like, I don't know. We were gonna, like, see about dating and trying to hang out and stuff. But, like, he's just like me where I'm like, come to Covington. He's like, come to Colerain. And I'm like, come Ooh, to Covington. Colerain. That's yeah. far, right? Um, then it's Covington is far for him. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, no, no, that would work. Right. Well, but then one of us would have to bend, and neither one of us were going to do it, because we were, like, setting our ways, like, what we were doing, you know what I mean? Like, having fun. So anyway, so one night, I wanted to hang out with him. So I was like, so I was like, fine, all right, I'm really, I'm going to come to you this time, you know? He's like, um, it's actually a funeral home. I'm like, okay, so his family owned this business. His friend's family. Okay. Oh, wait, a friend. Yeah. So why did he want to go there? He was already date? there. Oh, no, it wasn't a there. date. It wasn't a date. It was just like we were going to hang out and like talk more. Okay, person. so what, what was your reaction when he said it was a funeral home? I was like, okay, well, probably I was like, it was probably like 9 o'clock and I'm like. <laughs> Had a couple drinks or yeah, something? Yeah, 11. Just, it's probably real late actually, come to think of it. Yeah. That's even scarier. I don't know. I would not want to go. I haven't been. I've been. Well, I trust homes. him. I've like hung out with him before. I've been to his house before, like once. Oh, so you had met him and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, I've been so talking to him for like years and years. So like, we've met three times. Oh. That's okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how did this date go? So, so, I like, get there. I'm like, whoa. This is like wild. Um, so I'm like, okay, so I'm just supposed to like, I don't know, like socialize, like, oh, that's cool, I'm good at that. Um, so like, I don't know, we hung out, drank a bunch of beer. I drank beer that night too. Yeah, that's all they had. And I was like, well, I'm keeping this buzz going, so I'm gonna drink some beer. And, you gotta do um, what you gotta do. We smoke some weed. Um, we go to the funeral, uh, like his, the, the dude's, um, the dude's like apartment whose family owns it is above the funeral home. So like we had to go in there and I'm like, oh my god, dude, this is first of all ugh. Like, ugh. Um, but so obviously we start talking about like ugh. He's like, do you wanna uh, do you wanna go down to the basement? He's like, we can go in there's an, we have an elevator. I'm like, what? An elevator? Oh, you wanted to have sex in the elevator. No, I didn't. No. Oh well then you wrote there's no, an Aerosmith song. Oh, loving an elevator. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm cool with it. Um, so it was like, oh, no, <laughs> like it was like, kind of a, oh, no, it was like, it was like a freight like elevator. Scary. Body elevator. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. one below the floor it's like real dark it's like older it's like yeah dude like spooky and um so we get down there and there is a bunch of slabs where dead bodies go and then it's like um like uh a metal table table yeah I, i'm picturing like csi like those kind of shows where they but show yeah but there's like a bunch of them yeah there's like a bunch and then like after drawers the, like, like no, no. 
four four tables down, there was a body. Just lying there. Well, it was covered up with a sheet. But I was like, oh my god! I was like, oh oh, where are we going? Where are we going? And like we went into some room. I don't even know. I don't even remember what happened in the room. That would like kill the pig. No, it was creepy. No, it was scary. It was exciting. Um, I was like, this is weird. Um, yeah. but um, who was telling me that they knew some? Oh, I got a lot. Of, I got a lot to talk about this. Okay, go ahead. Um, so, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know, I don't even know what happened when we went in the other room, like, I don't remember, like, why we went there, like, they were showing me something, they did not show me the dead body, which I was glad we just kind of walked right past. I was told someone this story last night, or two nights ago, and they're like, oh, I know someone who used to own a funeral home, their parents did, and my family actually did, yeah. my grandma's family, they owned a funeral home was near tickets. Yeah, but you didn't hang out whatever. No, I mean, this was before I was born. Oh. I mean, it was long. But I have a I have a uh, bench that's in my front yard with my name on it. Oh, it's yeah. Let's see it your name Because after. somebody, they made the gravestones and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was from, it was for my grandmother, Mary Jane, and then given to me. So. Sorry, true. go ahead. Yeah. But yeah, no, so I was the person I was telling about this story. Um, they were like, oh yeah, I know this one dude that he, um, you know, he was a teenager and his parents had a funeral home and well, I mean what are you gonna do? Like you you live there, you live next to there, or like you grow That'd up. That'd be kinda weird there. being the kid that lives you be known as They that. did like coke off of dead bodies and shit, dude. Yeah, dude. I was like, What? Oh yeah, yeah I know. I was like, No, I know. So when I talk so like something similar not like similar, but like we we were talking about me and that dude that I went to see, I was like He's like, yeah, they like, they like, fuck with the, um, they like, make fun of, like, dead bodies. I'm like, dude, I'm like, there's someone's grandma and, like, grandpa and, like, yeah, shit and, like, or, her. like, sister or aunt or, like, mom or daughter. Yeah. He's like, I oh, know that's what I said. I'm like, that's wild, man. That's wild. But anyway, yeah, they would, like, uh, I know. No, I, no, I would not, I would not want to get that close to it. Well, I mean, I think now my mind's going, like, are they doing intimate things with people? Well, I would hope not. Not with the bodies, but like in the same room with it. And like, if they're, why would they be wanting to do that by a dead body anyway? Like, if they're going to do other things. I don't know. Something. I don't know. Ooh. All right. Let's yeah. He's like, I was like, listen to the elevator, and he's like, he's like. Um, horror movies, you know, get their ideas from places like this. The noises and like... Yeah, I mean, I... Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Some like shit. True. I mean, I've been scared to death. Like, do you think about ghosts or any of that kind of stuff? Like, I would have been scared that, oh, this many people have died and been yeah, in here. Yeah, they've been in there. Yeah, I mean, a little bit. I was trying not to think get about it. Vibes. I really was trying not to think about it. Because I was, like, a little bit scared. Okay. So let's change... Change uh, directions here for a second, and we're gonna talk about somebody that decided to leave a comment on our page. Oh, yeah. um, so I woke up the other morning with a text from Nicole. It was like, "Call me as soon as you get this, whatever." And this was early, I and mean, I woke up. It was just like I was sleeping, and I kind of my phone just kind of glanced out. Very well, I had heard it at what time? Like 4:30 or something in the morning. I don't know. Yeah. I, it says I, I in my notes I put that I woke up at 5:35. Oh, oh, my daughter. My daughter was sick, so that was another reason. My daughter, um, she's a teenager, she um, was worried about... So the day before, we had taken her to the drive-thru here in Cunningham, which is very it, right? convenient. No, she was negative. Yeah, but she kept t asking me every... We were supposed to have the test results by midnight. Yeah, you were, yeah. Well, every, like, 15 minutes or not even that, probably five minutes, she's, like, asking me, Mom, Mom, is it negative? Is it negative? Oh Mom, God. you know. Well, she's acting like Mateo. And I'm, like, asleep. You know, she would wake me up, like, Mom, did you get my results? She wanted to know for the next day. So, uh, Just wait until the next day. They actually came late for oh some God, reason. I, I got mad about that. Sometimes that happens. I would have got mad about that. They even said, actually, an apology, like, oh. for that they, um, the lab company or whatever, whoever did it, sent out an email like, apologizing for the delay, which was only two hours or whatever. Okay, so... I saw the text from Nicole, and I'm like, I'm not gonna call her yet. I was like, I'll wait till a little bit later. 
but I didn't see. I don't see. know why. I told her to call me right when she woke up. I wasn't gonna call. Because I didn't know. I wanted to. I wanted to know what I, it was okay for me to say. But you're. You're right. always fine. I, I always tell Nicole. I don't care. Put whatever you can do on the do Finding Love page. That's like, what I'll be doing. That's what I'm doing. Be you. I love Nicole. Yeah. I love the way you do you. So, um, I saw the notifications. So I get notifications for the page, right? Yeah. If comments are done. So I saw that we had a new comment from someone. So am I supposed to say the name or not? I don't care. Okay. Well, his name is Derek. And I saw we had a notification and that he commented. And he also left a message. This was very late at night. Yeah, well, I have it blocked. So I guess that was his only way to torment me. This is an ex-roommate of Nicole's. So, so I... Um, but he has my number. I so figured... I'm just saying, you could just say it there too. I figured that this is probably what Nicole so it has something to do with whatever Nicole is wanting to talk to me about. Okay, so his comment was, "You have to have content before you start making money." No, he said before you start making a podcast and asking for money. Yeah. Okay. okay well, we heard he have a podcast. <laughs> no newsflash. Okay. Anyway. Didn't know if you knew or not. Then he had another message, though, to us, which this didn't make sense to me, though, really, because he said, I said, I don't know what this means. Did you write back? So, I, well, oh, okay, so, and, what? Okay, and or because you're rather drab and not funny whatsoever. That's what he said. And that was the way he worded it. And I'm like, what? So, of course, I'm thinking there's alcohol involved, first of all. Oh, oh absolutely. Um, okay. And actually, you know, I think it's worth mentioning, um, Derek's a good dude when he's sober, but when he's really but, showcased, you know, he's awful. It reminded me of other he's times terrible. that I've it's had, despicable. I've had, not necessarily he does, but no, he does. it's a, it's a thing that so. I, I can tell is something that happens. It, it was calm. When, people, I don't flip, know. It was when like, people flip the script like that, um, familiar to me. Okay, yeah, so I, it triggers me, man. I can't be around people that are unpredictable like that. So I didn't even know what that meant, right? God, I'm just like, what is it? What is he saying? But my initial response was like, damn, like, man, we suck. Like, I didn't and think I, that. I was like, oh, I was like, Ooh, well, I, can't I thought that. that and I was like, fun. I felt hurt. I felt hurt. I'm like, that's not very nice. I don't like when people say not nice. I was things. like, typical. I was like, this is typical. Okay, so that, that was my initial response. So then after. One asshole's comments at like three in the morning make me feel hurt and discouraged. I, I, I thought this is the same kind of shit like I've I've dealt with in past relationships and things. And I was like, and in those relationships, they had power over me. They controlled my self worth. Kind of well, no. in many ways. That's what I'm learning. I'm learning because this is th these are good. things like once you get in your forties, like I feel like this is taking me this long to kind of figure out, right? My mom. Yeah, I'll never. That's awesome. See, I didn't have a mom like that to do I'll that. Never. Um, I try to always remember that my opinion of myself is the complete most important. Give me a cheers for that. That's awesome. So, so for, same for everyone else. I mean, who gives a fuck what mm -hmm. anyone thinks about you? So I, mean, I said, none no. None of your business either. No, sir. Not today, you. Derek. I kept giving him chance. I feel like I've I've given him so many chances. Yeah, Defending him with to. you. Well, because I told you to be just cordial and well, like. No, he and works I have been, and I've I've even been like nice to well, him. You've wanted to go off the rails. I did so because bad. you're my friend, and I. I know. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like, I had to pull, what, I had to but pull, pull also, a little chain. It also makes me think. Okay, so what is going on with Derek that makes him feel the need to make somebody else feel bad on him? He doesn't feel good about himself. Because cyber bullying is not cool. That's no. where I came, what I came up with. So I'm glad that you're away from him. Yeah. And he's not going to steal our sunshine. And he it can't. just and made me. pisses him off the worst. And I, that's what I love. It that made is me my realize that I need to surround myself, ourselves, with uh, positive energy and positive people, positive yeah. vibes. Yeah. Because, yeah, we need that. I mean, just like I do the same thing with family members that I can't. I can't be as close with because I, I feel like toxic, you know? Well, yeah. You just, nobody should be um, in a, any type of 
relationship, family, or otherwise with someone that's toxic. So basically, Derek, not you a cool comment. Better. Not nice. Think about what you did. It's like the mom and be like, he's not he's good. sorry. He was sorry the next day when he sobered up. Okay, so not I mean, that he told me. I, hope, I just know his. You know pattern. what I hope for him then? I hope that he realizes the effect that words can have on writing something on the internet. Or talking oh, about. I was ready to exploit the fuck out of it and be like, well, oh. no, that makes us just as bad. No, but. I was gonna. And then, like, poke him. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. And then, you know, go back and forth with it. I was okay. gonna have fun with it. Okay, so tell our viewers where we're going tonight. Let's see. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. I can't even do it. I don't have jingle bells. So, but. I'm we, a little Santa's helper. Yes. Like, hey, do you have a Santa hat? Do you? I do at my house. Oh, okay. okay, we're, we're going, going there. there. Okay, yeah. okay, we're going there and then we're going to the party. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Party on. What is it? Wait, wait. Wayne's, Wayne's World. World. Wayne's World. Party time. No, but Excellent. that does leave me. Dude, we're, and for that, I'm going to. Um, that bar where Patrick is a regular. If you all recall, I didn't, Patrick. I didn't know you were going to that bar. Oh yeah, because that's where you're going. Afterwards, yeah, because um, my friend that I, I made it was friends just an with. Event the, that you were going to. It's at the bar. Oh yeah. Is this good? I don't know. It'll be fine. I've seen him. It's okay. Okay. Um. But it's wild. I don't know. Uh, what even are we at? We got ten minutes left. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I yeah. I'm back. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing after that, and then I'm probably going to Strauss House. Well, that sounds fun. But I am I am her date tonight. So just be nice to your date. And don't forget about me. Let's go. So. <laughs> I mean, you better guess. You better follow me around. I don't know. I mean. I don't know. I, I, have, to, I, I have to. I have to consciously okay. think about you. What do you mean? Like just remember, I'm your. Oh, no, yeah. Just remember. You'll don't, be fine. Don't forget about me. You'll be fine. Okay. Um, so, just put my, my, next, coat over you if my you next little nervous. note, my note, my podcast note is on Shroom on the radio. Does anybody know who Shroom is on the radio? Yeah. Isn't he on okay. like EDN? He used to be on EDN. Okay. But now he's on like my favorite station, The Project, okay. which I really like. I like alternative music, so I, I really like that station. Okay. He's got an awesome voice. Definitely awesome voice for radio. Um, I don't know what he looks like. Oh, wait, I do online. I do know what he looks like. He's actually cute, too, I think. Um, because I feel like I did meet him at a WBN event that I went to. And it was way back. I won something. Uh, and I went there, and I met him. I think I even had my picture taken with him. I told him my name was Mary Jane, and his mom's name Mary Jane. Or something. something. There was some kind of family member named Mary Jane. It was something like that. Okay. So we, we clicked, you know? No, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, anyway, he told a story on the project about this elderly lady that was getting in a fight with a raccoon. Okay. I love raccoons. No, the way he told the story, like the way his voice, like, oh my god, and the, the raccoon. Delivery, man, yeah. The raccoon it's all about out delivery. Of it was so professional and so amazing that I want to give him credit for it and give him a shout out. The shroom that was amazing. And I, Excellent I, storytelling. Oh my god, like I loved it. It made me fall in love with Shroom. Oh, wow. I'm now in love with Shroom. <coughs> You're exclusive with someone you can't be. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Okay, but I'm still in love. Okay, so um, super cool dude. Made me think about, I want to party with this guy. How much fun would dude, it be to party could. with somebody like that? Literally, I bet we could party with him if like we went a to guest an event. On the podcast? Well, we gotta we gotta make a build a relationship first. So we yeah. have to go to one of his events first yeah, and be like, "What's up? Oh, what are you guys doing after this?" Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. We can make that happen. I okay. bet. And then we get him on our podcast. So next note. So my son, Mateo, he's nine years old. Oh, 
Oh, it says top. Oh, his name is not right. Anyway. Oh, my son. Your okay. son. I have a son who's nine. He um, said the F bomb the other day when putting his shoes yes. on before school. I think he's, what, nine? Okay, so he has a hard time. He's very particular about socks. I don't know. Some people are like that. Really weird about the line in your socks and how it feels. Yeah. And he's very not weird, but very um, tactile. Yeah, like this. I don't know. Um, it's a sensory, um, yeah. sensory issue. Detail. Yeah. So he he has trouble, but he was getting very frustrated with how his shoes were going on, and. Um, the F bomb came out. Of course, first he denies it, and I'm like, like no. I, right I said, I know what you just said. I just heard you. Yeah. So, of course, his punishment then was to take away his electronics. Sure. That's just what I do. I don't know. I take them. I take them away. Okay. But this made me think of the Christmas story, right? So, my favorite part of the Christmas story is when Ralphie, okay, the little boy, you know, that he has, he wants the BB gun yeah. and all that. Okay. So, his dad, they break down the side of the road, he's helping his dad with the car, and he says the F-bomb. And then when he gets back in the car with his dad, his dad like doesn't say anything, so I'm totally shocked. He's like, couldn't believe it. He whispers it. Okay, so, and the mom's like, oh, go yeah, home, it was also right? back in the, like, 50s or something. Uh, yeah, okay. It's taking place. But they go home. And then the mom gets on the phone, right? She's on the phone, and she, oh, because she asks Ralphie. She says, Ralphie, where did you hear that word? And of course, you know, she heard it. he heard it from his dad. His dad is a husband, whatever. Right. He didn't know what to say, so he blames his friend. Yeah. So then the friend, and this is, the, oh, after she put a bar, see, I'm not good at storytelling. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. But she had a bar of soap stuck in his mouth. Uh, yeah, yeah, like the gross. whole bar. And, um. She calls the mom, though, of this friend, and the mom, she's like, yeah, do you know what Ralphie said today? From? And she goes, well, probably just from my father. You hear it kind of in there? Uh, and then she was. goes, no! She goes, your son! And she goes, what? What? goes crazy. And yeah, says, so we've seen the movie. Oh, sorry. Okay. Go but on. The movie is amazing. Yes, so. it is a good movie. It's one of my favorites for sure. Yeah, but so you hear her like beating her son or whatever. It goes off and she hangs up. Okay, so Ralphie getting soap. Okay, so right now, is it okay to give your kids no. soap? I don't think so. Is it not okay? I don't okay. think so. Because you know how things change because you know how like... Yeah, well yeah, things do change. As, oh, I mean, changing for the with the better, times, but because I have given my younger or my older now older kids, I've given them just a little bit of soap, and it was like Bath and Body Works soap. I guess you just give them a little bit of soap, and you rub it in there in the mouth. My mom took a whole bar Fuck and like that. put it in your teeth and everything like zest. You know the green soap. So it was like oh. here's what I say. Like, you're not uh, allowed no to say cuss words in front of, of um, adults, and if you do, you're going to get in big trouble. So don't say cuss words in front of adults. And if you can, do, you think that has a good as good of an impact though as it does like actually doing some kind of know. punishment and associating? Think, I don't think cuss words are that big of a deal. Either. See, I don't. I don't like it. I don't. Like I don't know. We don't like it, but I, like I think it's a sign of not being intelligent to me. If you no. have to use a lot of cuss words, I mean, it's okay if you're like out partying, I guess, but I just don't know. Especially children should not be saying cuss words. Children should not say cuss words, no. I don't think it's as big of a huge of a deal as. This. I love how you spell karaoke. I know. I do not know how to spell karaoke. I never wrote Yoki Y O K. Okay. There's no Y. It's K A. R A O K. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay, so anyway, we're next next thing is edamame. So my new favorite song is called Edamame and I love edamame. I love to eat it too. So do you like edamame? I do. And you know the song, the edamame sure. song? Okay, yes. So it says okay. keep it on. Um, 
I think it's the cutest little, not cute, I no, I, I, you know what I mean. But like a pea? What does that even mean? I don't, I don't know. Do you know? And you don't want to talk about it? <laughs> Do you? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> oh my god. Like a pea, I mean, he's doing edamame style. Sure. Anyway, I love that song. It gets me in the best mood. It gets me ready to party. And it makes me think about how we need like music to play at the beginning of our show. To oh. get us like pumped up. Oh, like, well, we should do that like before that comes on. Or just yeah, a little ritual that we do. Yeah. Um, I had a wild night last night and uh -oh. then let's end it. Okay, um, we're, we're at let's, minutes let's wrap already. this up with a wild night. Oh, um yeah. Um I was out until four AM. Um I went to like three different bars. Have you had enough sleep? Oh yeah, I got a nap today. I feel okay. good, man. I feel great. Okay. I'm, not even, I'm not even. Our closes, me and my buddy, who I hardly ever get to hang out with, he's going to be real estate business. Like, he's good, like a good friend of mine um, that I should be closer with. And so it was cool that we got to hang out um, just him. I play crafts. But I always Why do you play crafts? Okay, well. <laughs> Um, I don't know what dice. Yes, so the one that's the one where like you see the people and they're all like yeah, and, like at the table. <laughs> well, I wanted. And they're all standing up. Like, yeah, I know. That's why I wanted to do it. So I finally did it. This one dude, oh, I think his name is what was that dude's name? I met him at Gypsies. He taught me how to play. He taught me what to play. He's like, listen, you're a girl. You can get away with this. If you um, you can play the don't come line because I had heard to play the come line so that's when whenever someone is betting I think then you get it um is there a delay oh um, no it's weird I'm sorry I'm not trying to distract you I was watching on oh, the phone and it was like it was frozen on us um, not flattering. and so I oh don't know man I played crap and I played the don't the don't come line and um nobody really fucked with me because I'm cute um, but this one dude, I could tell they were getting mad. I was like, oh. he was like getting mad as fuck. Not because of me, but because he was losing. And he's like talking shit. And I'm like, you're gonna just. Two. I did. That's awesome. I won like three hands or something. So whatever roll. Whatever, I don't even know how. Yeah, I don't know what the term But it was really cool. So I was out at the casino and they stopped serving drinks. They had to stop serving drinks at 2 30 also. So we didn't get any more drinks, but we were playing blackjack. We played blackjack. Um, I only, we were there for like three hours. And I only had spent 50 bucks. Three hours. So I didn't like, I only lost 50 bucks. That's not bad. Yeah, I brought, I brought 200. I mean, it would have been a lot cooler if you won like a bunch of money. Yeah. I, I, for a minute, I was up like 10 bucks, but I wanted to play more, so it was awesome. I mean, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, and then, oh, and then um, before that, I did karaoke, and I think I did terrible. I don't know. What did you sing? I sing Cover Me Up. Um, it's by um, Jason and Isabel. And it's a really, really good song. Is that like one of your favorite songs? But it has to be the, um, there's a certain version on tourism, there's a tourism CD where she sings it and it's kind of like a country twang to it a little bit, but it is like my jam, like it's always been my jam. Yeah, well I sang karaoke last night and I got into it. That's awesome. Nicole, I want to do karaoke with you. Um, no, I don't want to do karaoke ever again. Well, maybe one night when you've had a little bit to drink. Maybe you'll change your mind. I told Paige to uh, video me because I was going to put on Snapchat. But I was like, I was actually too afraid to. Did she video you? She did the video of me, but I was too afraid to look at it. No, I don't know. It's high. It's so hard much to fun. judge like where, how much 
how far away do I stand from the mic? Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, like now, we don't know. Hello, hello. Well, I feel like we know on here, but when you're singing, I like, I would be like, and then, I don't know, dude. It, yeah, it wasn't, it didn't go well. I have a good voice. I have a decent voice. Decent. But. I don't know. I nobody's think commented. No one's um, leaving any comments. Leave comments, please. Well, we love reading. Than usual. I know. We're not doing our usual and seven o'clock. It's time to go, man. We can end on it that. It is time to go. Because we do have a Christmas party in town. And I got a date to um, hang out with. So um, that's going to be... I, I invited some um, cute contractor. He's like, are you going? Because I want to make out with it. Fingers outside. crossed that that happens. This is outside for me. So stay tuned next week and we'll see if uh, Nicole gets to make out with this contractor. <laughs> oh my lord. Party. And mark your calendars December 30th. December 30th. Our event. We are going to be at the Barringer Crawford Museum and Nature Play outside the play area. And it's going to be all lit up. And we're going to have fun stuff going on. Yeah. And giveaways. We're giving away a $50 gift card to Standard. Where I did nice. karaoke last night. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. It's on Thursday. Yeah. Did not have it. Okay. Yep. Just started so with Daniel. Cool. Hi, Daniel. Daniel like, likes us. Awesome, Daniel. Okay. So that's going to be all for tonight on Finding Love in the Cup. Please tune in next week. We will be back at our normal time at 7 p.m. on Friday. Yes. And hopefully Wait, we will have Christmas a guest. Eve, is it? Oh, no. It probably is. Are we still going to do it or no? Probably shouldn't. We're probably going to have to discuss this a little bit and yeah. get back. We so might stay tuned. Yeah. We'll to our page. We'll make sure to share some I love Christmas now. I love Christmas too. But anyway, we're going to drop the mic because we're out of time. So bye guys. Deuces. Mic dropped.